Hello and welcome back to the Teach to Learn channel. Right now we're going to be doing the use multiple conditional or ternary operators basic JavaScript lesson from Free Code Camp. So here goes. In the previous challenge, you used a single conditional operator. You can also chain them together to check for multiple conditions. The following function uses if, else if, and else statements to check multiple conditions. So here we have our example function, function find greater or equal. That takes arguments A and B. We have our first condition, which, say, which states that if A is strictly equal to B, then our function will return A and B are equal. Then we have our else if statement with an alternate condition. If A is greater than B, then our function should return A is greater. Else, so if none of these two conditions are fulfilled, then our function will return b is greater because b would be greater than a. The above function can be rewritten using multiple conditional operators. So then we have our function find greater or equal with the same arguments of a and b rewritten with um, the conditional operators. So we have our function set to return if a is strictly equal to b. So if this is true then our function will return a and b are equal we move on else if we have another condition right here so this represents the else if statement above if a is greater than b then we add our question mark and if this is true then our function will return a is greater and else so else no other condition found so if none of these two are fulfilled, then our function will return b is greater. The same, the exact same as above. And below they tell us that it is considered a best practice to format multiple conditional operators such that each condition is on a separate line, as shown above. Using multiple conditional operators without proper indentation may make your code hard to read. For example, and then we have the same code as above, but all written all written on the same line, which, yeah, is, it's definitely harder to read. And then we have our challenge. So in the check sign function, use multiple conditional operators following the recommended format used in the find greater or equal to check if a number is positive, negative, or zero. The function should return positive, negative, or zero. All right. So. Let's do this real quick. We have our function check sign, which takes in a, an argument for a number value. And we have our function being called as an example with a value of 10. So this function should return, should tell us whether our number is positive, negative, or zero. So it needs to return. We will use the conditional operator if our number is strictly equal to zero. If that is true, then our function will return a string with zero. Then we need to move on to the next line as they've stated, proper indentation with our second condition. So if our number is greater than zero, if that is true, then our function would return a value of positive. Sir. And finally, else if our number isn't zero, and if it's not greater than zero, then it simply is a negative number because the previous two conditions were false. So we are now done with our function. Let's log this, this function into the console and we should get a value of positive. Here we go, we got positive. Let's try with this with number zero. Um, and we get that our function throws out a string value of zero. And finally, let's try with a negative number, so minus three. And we get negative. So we've successfully created a function that checks whether a number is positive, negative, or zero using multiple conditional or ternary, ternary operators. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.